Right, so we have a, say, a Troy built uh, TV4 BP. Uh, uh, looks like it's just a blower. Right? And a uh, client brought it to me in a really interesting They found it. So it's a freebie on the side of the road. It's got some old fuel in it. You can see that. Not really sure what's happening here. This is missing a part. Looks like uh, that gets. This might be a four stroke actually, now I think about it, only because the, um, it looks like the, this is a f separate oil mix. No, I don't know what the heck that is. I'm sorry, I'm kidding. Um, it looks like oil goes in here, but I'm not sure why. Anyway, primer bulb, that's still functional. That's still nice and soft. Carburetor is probably most likely clogged. The, it said it was missing a, um, a uh, pull start. So, let's see, where, where, is, where would that be? Try, Troy belt, yeah, it's a, oh yeah, it's four cycle, it's a four stroke engine. And that's what that is. It says no gas, well mix. Sounds great to me, less, one less thing to worry about. And somewhere, there should be a pull start on this thing. But I'm not sure if it's missing or not. Or it's missing a pull start. Yeah, because you gotta get it to start. But how do you get it to start without a pull start? So that means a pull start's missing. I think maybe here. Uh, what's those four bolts? No. That doesn't make sense. We'll need a flywheel to be turned by something that pulls. Right here. Okay. I'm not even sure. Uh don't really know. I know the, uh, whatever fuel's in there, we're gonna have to dump because that thing has uh, it's been sitting for a while. Whatever mixture of gasoline that is. Um, it might be good, but I'm not sure. All right, so some, I gotta do some homework on this thing to check out the anatomy of this because I'm not really sure how it starts. I do know the air is on the carburetor. We have like, like one, two, three. This is the choke. Right here and the fuel lines are pretty pretty good still we'll probably re replace them anyway and uh, so it's so we have for our air filter right, so the air filter is not too bad not too shabby we probably could um Tilt it up some. Yeah. Get some light on that side. The bright side of the moon. There you go. So I think, uh, see, this, I think it's leaking right there. That's the first sign of something's not right. So that means to me that uh, the fuel's not getting the proper mixture. Here's the, uh, if you look right here, you'll see how the choke works. It's kind of like, shuts it all off. I'm sorry, it shuts it all off like that. So it's choke and the carb. Fuel lines got like some extensions in the middle. Not sure why they did that. They could have just done one solid uh, piece all the way down to the tank. Uh, one of these is the return. I'm not sure which one, but we'll find out, won't we? All right. Um, so this looks like a four-stroke Troy built. What's this? A Z to DBA. I think maybe that's the model number. I'm not really sure. Anyway, I can take a look right here. You can see that it's all wet. So it's definitely leaking fuel. Um, so we had to figure out. Those gaskets are most likely failed on this too. So the carburetor is going to need to be rebuilt. Um, and then we're going to look at the anatomy of this and see how this... Alright, so uh, I didn't figure it out. The super smart one did. Uh, that's definitely the uh, pull start um, space, and so it would come like this. You would yank it out. So we're going to pull off the shroud, and uh, shroud has a one, two, three, four, five, or six um, T25, um, what do you call it, screws. And uh, I'm going to get that out of the way. I'm going to put that in here. The vitromagnetic truck. Super useful. So, all 
Turn it this way, similar. Yeah, and then uh, work from there. Is that good for you? Yeah. There's yeah. like one more. Yeah. See that one right here. Yeah. That needs to be. That needs to be liberated. Let's liberate you, buddy. I should probably have turned the uh, viewfinder so you can see. You know. Oh. Yeah. I mean, yeah. You don't have to. But if you wanted to see. Yeah, we found it, just to let you know. So, it was a good five minutes. That one's different. That one's different? Oh. Yeah. And uh, these ones have the smallest thread that okay. go inside. Oh, uh, can you show? Can you show them? I have to explain it. Yeah. This is this is a good, good reference. All right, so we have two different screws. So the smaller thread one, this guy over here, that goes into these four, two, three, four, and then the larger, th the thicker thread, yeah. thicker thread, this guy goes into, where does it go, here, one, two, Threads are going to be like here one, two, three, and four, and then the thinner threads are right here. Now usually they do the, the smaller threads are usually going to metal, so it's probably probably metal back here, and usually the thicker thread always goes into plastic. So let's let's take a look and see. It's usually the pattern I've noticed. Could be wrong. So something else is holding it. So the shroud is off. Yeah, there you go. It goes into metal. Let's see, so the thinner threads always tend to go into metal. That's one way you can kind of know 
what you're working with. So uh, we thought the uh, pole star was going to be back here, didn't we? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I don't see it. But it goes around this. That's for sure. That's where the uh, piston is turning over from. So it's it has to be. Oh, here it is. Never mind. Look, there it is, ladies and gentlemen. That this here is the pull start, and you can see it's just it's just the thread's gone. The uh, the 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 um you know the handle. So what we can possibly do, right, is to save this. We can probably just put another put another lip on it. It looks and feels a little. Like in a lot of rewind, so we probably have to rewind this. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to wind the spring back up in this just to test it and see how uh, how well that goes. Let me pull this air filter cover off and see all the oil here. I'm just trying to. I'm gonna keep this on here for now or not? Maybe it's pull it off. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. And uh, we're just gonna pull the those two um, screws. They hold the uh, carburetor on, so to the chassis. Is that T twenty five? Mm -hmm. Okay. It's, it's, everything's been T twenty five so far. So. Put that with. Uh, I'll show you what the, they look like. This they're really long. I'm sorry, right there. Really long. There's two of them. So it should be free now. So just, I can't remember how stuff goes. This blue line went into the top part here. The yellow line went into the bottom part here, and the the uh, so the bottom. This bottom yellow, the yellow one's at the bottom. That goes into the, to the, um, not turn it. So, oh, you can't see it. Can you? It's too like, oh, sorry. Yeah. All right. So the yellow here goes, uh, bottom goes into the, Jesus. All right. Goes, uh, let me just back up some. So. Okay, so this yellow line goes down into this part of the fuel tank, and this green one is from the top goes down into the uh, closest to me part of the fuel tank. And uh, I'm not really sure. I mean, the lines feel really good. Um, the primer bolt, oh, that's excellent. That's good. Well, we're going to do that anyway. <laughs> Convenient. Uh, <laughs> all right, so. Uh, Here's the throttle cable. That throttle cable came out of uh, that right there. So um, that's good. It didn't break. All right. We need to figure out, identify this. Oh, it's Walbro. I tend to make everything around here. So Walbro is a Chinese cut carburetor. Um, well, let's see. I'm going to pull these lines off. Let's see if I can. You know, I'm not really too concerned about breaking them because I probably will end up having to replace them anyway. But if I can save them, I'll try to save them. Oh, look me. Oh, it's pissing fuel everywhere. Jesus. All right. Oh, that's just oh, nasty. Ugh. Ah. Yeah, take that fresh. <laughs> Under pressure. Oh, there we go. That should... That's there you go. All right. <laughs> well, <laughs> yummy. <laughs> this is uh, smells like Proposition 65 in here right now. That's all I can tell you. Window. Yeah, something like that. Jesus. Wow. At least it's cleaning the table. That's good stuff. Oh, Jesus. All right. So, yeah. <laughs> Okay, so we got to figure out this carburetor, right? So, um, I'm thinking because of the way that this had all this fuel coming up, I, I wonder if that's the, uh, 
That was on this curvy part. I think that's probably going to be the, uh, in, the the intake for this carb. Uh, the part, the the line that the, the line that brings fuel into the carburetor. I think that's what that is. And this green one must be the return. I think we'll find out, won't we? All right, so let's see. Let's see how this, what, what sprays out. Okay, so the bottom one is the, is the return. That one, that was the green one, right? Yeah, the green one's the return. This yeah. is the fuel in. So fuel in is up top, bottom one is fuel return. Okay, um, well, let's figure out what this Walboro carburetor is. So I don't see any um, identification on it. Usually they have numbers. I see a number here, but it's 19. And that's not enough information. Sometimes it's written. The side of it. No. All right, we're gonna dig around for a little bit and then we'll bring it back. So Okay, so it says W-Y-L, right there, right there, and then inside here, it says 247A025. Nice. So that's the Walboro Chinese carburetor, and we're going to try to find the carb kit for that. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we have uh, the, the client decided to go a less hackish route with this and they decided just get the whole part. The part comes with the uh, pull start in it and uh, I'm just going to put that on and uh, you can see it kind of like slides underneath that gap over there. And um, they're gonna have to line up the uh, the pulls. Actually, can I show them real quick something? Yeah, just pull it up real quick. See right here. Um, this right here needs to be lined up because it turns. Right when when you pull on it, this turns. So that has that sits in those grooves sit inside of there. Okay. See if it pulls. Yep, good. So now we know for sure it's all lined up. So we have, um, we're going to show you what we have here. We have, uh, all right, so you can do it. Uh, four, we'll do, uh, we have four of the, um, so let's see. <laughs> we, have, we get, so we have these smaller threaded. Here I mean, we have. Oh no no no! This is of course. So we have four of those, right? We're gonna put four of those in right there. Let's do that. And they're all they're all T25s. So sorry by hand. Get a feel. Again, they look like this.
Nice. So she has a cross pattern. So it's a good habit to have when you're working on a, working on any kind of turn and wrench activity. How tight should this be? Not too much, Hercules. Good. So that's that, right? And then we're gonna put the uh, we're gonna put the uh, coarser thread. There's three of them. Uh, these look like this. And we're gonna put three of them in. There's one there, and there's two up top. And that also those are also T25s. Can't do the other side. Can I do it? Yeah. Okay. No, you're good. I don't know. She wants to start it off. Is it lined up? <laughs> no. Okay. Oh, you saw that's what you're doing. Oh, yeah. yeah. Now I got to, I to push it over. So. We have one more odd one. This is a uh, much shorter. Uh, uh, let's see what this looks like. That's gonna go right here. No. No. Wait. Maybe. It's too thick. Um. That's like the only other odd one that we have. Do you want to yeah, let me get a feel. Oh yeah, that's yummy. It looks all kinds of yummy. Oh, that's tight. Yeah. Mm. Wow. Mm-hmm. It does feel kind of weird. Is there a... Let's see, oh my god. Oh, here? Maybe this one? No, that's too... Th it's not coarse enough. You know? That's only one left, right? Yep. This one? Okay. Mm -hmm. I bet you it's this one. Yeah, okay. So I think it's this. Okay. 
So we, we tested it and we can tell it doesn't, it's too tight. I don't know, man. This one. Hmm. <laughs> that also feels too tight. Huh. Okay, you know what? What do we think? That one's definitely wider. I I don't know, man. Because we didn't we know we had four of here, right? Those three there. Right. One more here, but what would that look like? A shorter one. I do feel a little what about this? only because I, I would say no because the thread is too um, the thread is too uh, it's too um, it, we're going into plastic. Mm -hmm. So this thread is too, um, you know, uh, it's not coarse enough. Uh, let me try that oddball, short one. You know, I think it's this one, look at that, the diameter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, look. Can I see the other one? Yeah, I think... Well, they both actually. <laughs> ha! Well, there would be some evidence. Uh, okay, I'm gonna go for this oddball short one here. I'm turn it down and see what we got. Um, is it? I can't seem to deduce anything else about that. Mm, that's tight. Damn. No. Let's try the longer one. Let me see what that is. That give me? This is. Probably should look at the anatomy of this here. Mm -mm. You know what? I'm going to have to look into this a little bit. And I'll come back to you. All right, so we have uh, the the client decided to go a less hackish route with this, and they decide just get the whole part. The part comes with the uh, pull start in it, and uh, I'm just gonna put that on, and uh, you can see it kind of like slides underneath that gap over there. And um, they're gonna have to line up the uh, the pull. Actually, can I show them real quick something? Yeah, show them real quick. See right here, um, this right here needs to be lined up because it turns. Right when when you pull on it, this turns. So that has that sits in those grooves sit inside of there. Okay. So again, they look like this. We have one more odd one. This is uh, much shorter. Uh, uh, let's see what this looks like. That's gonna go right here. No. No. Wait. Maybe. It's too thick. Um. Looks like the only other odd one that we have. Uh, I guess it's fine. I don't know. Do you want to 
Oh yeah, that's yummy. It looks all kinds of yummy. Mm, that's tight. Yeah. Mm. Wow. Mm-hmm. It does feel kind of weird. Is there a... That's the only odd. Oh, here? Maybe this one? No, it's too... Th it's not coarse enough. You know? Um, that's only one left, right? Yep. This one? Okay. Mm -hmm. I bet you it's this one. Probably should look at the anatomy of this here. Mm -mm. You know what? I'm going to have to look into this a little bit. And I'll come back to you. Alright, so we're going to use this coarse thread uh, when it's a little bit longer. And the reason why, right? This is the old one. So I'm sure the old cover. This old cover here. When we screw that in, it fits really nicely versus the other one. This, I think the plastic is new, and the plastic doesn't have any um, thread thread in. When you screw the screw in, it gets the thread in, and that's how, that's how that works. So, yeah, we're just going to do that. Yeah, you can go for it if you want. It did have? Oh, yeah. it did? Maybe okay. Did that. Okay. Yeah, we started that. Uh... Mm -hmm. I'm still questioning what's the story with that one weird plastic A screw. I guess we'll figure it out when we get there. Awesome. Good. Alright, so that's that. That's the cover, and uh, we're good. That was I'm going to pull this carburetor apart and clean it, um, so let's have at it, shall we? Um, now, this is this is a lot of plastic on it, so I've got a lot of, a lot of things to remove. I don't know. It's got some fuel in it also, so we're going to have to prep ourselves to get that out of the way. This is a uh, P2 Phillips. The, the P1 was too small. It was uh, kind of like stripping it. So. seen uh, Star Wars and then the last one the one that came out Christmas or Christmas Eve or Christmas week <laughs> of 2019 that was a pretty entertaining uh it's entertaining I, I stayed to the very end and that the credits just thought there might be extra stuff left over but you know I didn't I didn't understand anybody understand why um, the two Jedi's we're kissing at the end. And talk about that one female Jedi, man. She was just like, had a whole bunch of male orbiters, man. Everybody wanted to get in her pants. And of course, the black guy didn't get anywhere. At least he didn't die, die like, in the first ten minutes, you know. That was a, that was a massive upgrade. And the way Hollywood treats those darker skin actors. But anyway... Her kissing her like what was like her was like her kissing cousin or something. 
I was like, oh, that was a weird ancestral. I think they're related too, right? I think. Could be wrong. I don't know. All I know, it's like, it's definitely not... It's that Star Wars is not really meant for, like, adults anymore. You know? I mean, sorry. You can't argue taste or color, but I'm more of a, I'm more of a Battlestar Galactica kind of... Um, the new Battlestar Galactica, the dark, broody, kind of like rated NC-17 or more adult sci-fi, you know? Like, The Expanse really gets me. But I, I, I just can't, um, yeah. Not a fan of uh, how Star Wars feels. Okay. Uh, these may be the world's longest, like, screws in a carburetor. Or oh, I'm just really ridiculous. Okay, before we pull it apart, you can see what's happening here. That's on that side. Got that on that side there. Uh, that side. And that just come, comes right off. Okay, so it just goes like that. Okay. So a couple layers to this. bulb is pretty awesome. It's, it's pretty cool. It hasn't failed yet. Okay. That's that. Right, power bulb. Okay. You have any pieces of plastic right there? Like that. Oops, sorry. Like this. And then we have diaphragm. like that. Okay. And uh see that that part there sat down inside of here. Okay. Typical. Usually there this should probably separate, so um what do we have here? You know what I mean? There's usually like two parts here. Um, hmm. uh, maybe a razor blade would be good to see if we have a razor blade here. Gotta pull this apart. See here. Yeah, they, see that separates. Okay. Yeah. All right. So that's that. So. What's that? 
And then over here, um, this is all metal. We have a uh, needle and seat right in here. Uh huh. Hmm. Which a pain in the butt that is. Okay. There we go. Let's uh, see if we can pull that out. Oop, too big. I need something smaller. Okay, we'll leave that one alone. There we go. Let's pull this off. Is a spring. Okay. Spring. Seems like this sits on top of it like that. So this goes down first, and then the uh, this diaphragm sits on top of that. Okay, that's good. Does it move? Oh, that spring does come out. Okay. So. That spring, put that away, it goes right there. Yeah, again, big side was down like this. Okay, come on. Ugh! Like that, okay. So, keep that, don't lose it. Now we have a lot of plastic up top here, uh, and I do not know what's the best way to approach this because I got to get to the screw that's here. You know what? I think I need to see what I'm saying. Like I can't, I can't unscrew that because this shaft is in the way. So I think I need to. This looks like this will probably be a, um, a, a idle screw. Okay, so I should be able to turn it all the way like that. So I can get access to the screw right there, see? Should just lift right off, I think. What do you think? Yeah, comes right out. Perfect. So that's nice and free, like that. Now, in here, hmm, that is very, 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 very plasticky. What are we going to do about that? This part here is um, this is the main jet. It looks like here. This has a plastic tube. See that? So 
back to you see. That tube there, the tube here is plastic. And that means, right, I am reluctant, I'm going to be reluctant, put in this in the ultrasonic cleaner because it'll just destroy plastic. Well, that sucks. And I don't know how to get this out without breaking it. side out. I see. Yeah, that lifts right out like that. Gotcha. Okay, and that has a rubber gasket, a rubber o-ring on it. See that? Yeah. Okay. Can you see? Yeah, rubber o-ring. side. Okay. And what does that do? Does that give me access to that? Hmm. I need something to poke any poke poke. Yeah, I don't know. I'm going to leave this alone. I don't think I need to... Uh, I'll just try to blow some air through there, poke at it, and uh, see what I can do. Clean it out. I mean, I really want to get it out of there. Oh, I'm so, so persistent. Okay, here we go. Let's move that. that. Let's pull this top off, right? Okay. It looks like we need a uh, smaller bit. This doesn't ruin my night and the screen goes flush. Okay, the camera just got cut off. I don't know if that means I ruined the video again and didn't record or not, but uh, I hope I hope it did. <laughs> so I'm gonna have a long time putting this back together. Anyway, so pull that off. Okay. So we have the screw here, like that. This is a typical, just kind of sits across like that. Spring in the middle. Sit here. Be careful for these little pieces, you don't want to lose them now. Okay, so this is our more, very important. <laughs> Probably the most important part of this carburetor. Regulates, has a lot to do with the fuel being regulated properly. This is the uh, needle. And you want to look for um, any sort of, uh, like, it needs to be sharp at the very top. If it's not sharp at the very, very top, sorry. If it's not very sharp at the top, what we end up with is um, uh, just I just won't we won't seal this hole in the bottom to regulate the fuel flow properly. 
That's good. That's that. All right, this part has no more plastic on it. We do have a, a little wash plug there. No, I mean, we have a screen here, so. I don't, I don't know if I'm gonna take that out. Okay, that's good, that's good, that's good. Uh, we have some plastic in here. I don't think I'm gonna throw that in the ultrasonic cleaner. Um, we do have some small passages I'd like to blow out. Okay, so. Looks good. Let's, uh, let's give it a give it in the bath and the ultrasonic cleaner. Let's put some stuff into the ultrasonic cleaner. What do we have? We have a carburetor here. Some screws in there. Can't put the needle because uh, they're too small. They'll just fall right through. Yeah, that's about all we can really put in it. Those, those screws are too little, so can't uh, do anything with that. Oh, there you go. I'll, I'll put those in there. Oops. Okay. Primer bulb, I'll push that through. Give that a bath. We have a new bulb anyway. Okay. I really want to just throw that in there, but I can't. I can't. Just the ethics of it, you know. So you can see, it's it is very much it can be removed. It's plastic. It just kind of sits in there. But I don't want to break it. By poking on it. Yeah, I'm good. Holy. Let's clean this side a little. Uh, okay, I'm thinking I can go like this. Let's see how that goes. That's too big. All right, try one of these. Uh, move this camera. A little bit up towards me. Yeah, that's better. Let's try this again. Right. I'm gonna poke at this a little bit here. So I'm gonna poke all the way through here and see, see what we can get. Alright, let's see, that's good. It goes all the way through. Things in there. We have a couple holes back here. And there's one right here. That's good. So it washes it out for you. Let's, let me see something here. It's a hole here. That's clear. Okay, so it doesn't seem that there's much to this other than that hole right there, that there, and the rest are just screws. So I think now would be a good idea to actually uh, get some force. I'm gonna compress, blow some compressed air through this. I'm gonna turn this so that way so I can blow things off the uh
that's a passage right there. Okay. Okay, so that's good. You know what I'm going to do? Actually, I want to. Uh, let's do a little carb cleaner on that. What do you think? You think what I'm thinking? Yeah. Let's clean this a bit. Right, don't fix your glasses because that stuff sprays and. Next thing you know, it's in your eye. Watch that hole. Ugh. I gotta get a new glove. All right, good. So. Yeah, I don't like to play around with the chemicals, man. These things are uh, cancer causing. And I'm really risking my own respiratory health. Because I'm not, I don't have a, like a garage outside. Or try to my workspace is not. It has windows, but it's not like super ventilated, you know. Either way, I'm trying to just minimize my risk. That's all. Okay, so you saw what I did with the uh, compressed air. I'm gonna do the same thing. Um, I don't really think it's. fresh out of the uh, ultrasonic cleaner. It's going to wipe it down. And then I want to blow a little bit of air through this little compressed air. Just not too much, but just some. I still can't figure out where those two bolts came from. I have a feeling they're from a different project, like the, uh... Remember the two bolts from the, uh... Trimmer? Like, it's just not possible that they're for the trimmer. There's nothing... It just doesn't make sense. I have a feeling they're not from the trimmer. I think they're from the, uh... The pressure washer. But, I don't know. It's been too long. Either way, it was really thorough. So we have, uh, that's what we have. Right. And I'm just going to blow some air through this stuff here. Through these passages. Careful, yes. you don't want to. This uh, rebuild kit is what we're going to use. Uh, it's uh, X000SMW2LL. And that's for the WL series carb, which is what that carb is. And um, first, we're going to do is just kind of want to um, let's get a feel for all the gaskets that are there. Make sure that. What we see here is what we're going to get out of here. Yeah.
there's a lot, a lot of pieces here. <laughs> okay. We're looking for this thing. Something that looks like that. Hmm. Looks pretty close. Definitely not this one here. This one for that. No, sorry. Nope. Diaphragm. Got that there. Like that. Yeah. Yep, it looks like that. Okay, cool. So those are all the pieces for the carb. These are all extra. And then we have a. Uh, let's just put those in there for now. We have a new bulb also. Some gaskets here. I'm not really sure where those go, but we'll find out together, won't we? Yeah, so here's our new bulb. Old bulb, okay. Good. All, right. All the new stuff is on the left side, how about that? All right, so we have all those pieces lined up, right? We know everything matches. Um, these are some, uh, so I wanted to give you the spring. You know, the damn spring is a thing that you lose so much. Oh, here's that rubber gasket too for the other thing. Oh, cool, okay. All right, so we're gonna try to like put this bike together. Um, hopefully we won't. All right, we had a really small part we had to put on here. And that would be this. And that has a gasket, right? So the gasket is like super little, man. Man, dude, this thing is, it's like small, right? So small that I'm kind of like reluctant to even try to, uh, to mess with it, you know? But let's see what happens. If I drop it, you know what's going to happen? Yeah. I'm not going to try to find it. Okay, so get that out of the way, right? Oh my god, okay. That's the old. Put that over there. Here's the new. It's a new O-ring, I'm sorry, not, not gasket. Well, O-ring has a gasket, isn't it? Or oh, gas. It serves a purpose of a gasket? I don't know. Oh, that wasn't so bad. Let me take that, put that in here. Oh man, like that. That should sit neatly in there. Famous last words. Okay, all right. First thing's done. All right, we gotta get the gasket on top of that. Uh, next, you wanna place this uh, throttle body back on. So, be careful, watch that so you don't lose it. If it's not seated perfectly, like, like mine is not. And yeah, it's gonna go in like this. So like that. Nope. Like that. Mm. Okay. 
Let's see, what do we have? Just get a feel for this. Could go like that or it could go like this. Right. Um, hmm. I'm looking at my own video here. Let's see, does that make sense? Yeah, I think. Right, yeah, it's like this. Wall bro, the wall bro. Where well, the wall bro is, is where that is. So we'll take the screws here. Ooh, don't lose it. Too late, I've already lost it. Don't tell anyone. How about that? Don't tell anybody yet that I've already lost it. So here we go. The P1's like getting ready to strip that thing. Okay, alright, so we know the idle that was uh, turned in a good bit. You notice I'm not wearing gloves. I'm not wearing gloves because the, uh, my, um, I have no, have very little dexterity when these things are this small. So I totally put this on backwards. Uh, I hate myself sometimes. Even when I reference my own material. So, all right, uh, uh, what I noticed was the um, that Eiler screw was uh, Where the lump is, right there, is where this screw was. mistakes, don't we? Oops, I totally chipped away at the, uh, the top of that with this screw. Uh, so much plastic everywhere. Gosh, I hate it. Everything is plastic, plastic, plastic. It's so fragile. Okay, that's why. Look at that stuff. Alright, uh, we are going to do this kind of like figure out the gasket orientation for that. We know that we need this goes down first. See, this has witness marks. Uh, you can see a little better. Okay. This has witness marks. And uh, you can see that... Well, it's obvious, too. There's a circle part right here. Looks like a keyhole. Like a comical old-time key. That goes right there. And... Uh, that goes on first onto the metal, and then this part here the holes the just match the keyholes, and the, the, you'll know for sure. Okay, so that'll go like that. Okay, and uh, 
see these flaps here? Oh, so they, they, they kind of regulate fuel flow. They believe that's what they do. Well, anyway, so that's how that goes, right? So we'll leave that alone. Now let's go to the part that I most... Um, <laughs> brings me the most anxiety. Um, it's getting this back together, this needle in seat. Um, so give ourselves a little, a little bit of breathing room because this can be a little dicey. Okay. All right. The... Oh, wait. I already made a mistake here, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Uh, this has... Let's, let's pull this back off. This has that spring. Yeah, forget that spring. Any one of you are going to tell me by screaming, not the, don't forget the spring. Right? Yeah. Okay. It's about the only time in my life I can talk to myself when I feel bad about it out loud. I <laughs> love this stuff. Okay, that goes like that. Please go on top of it like that. Okay. okay, let's just set that to the side. All right, we need to get, uh, we have a new Seat, new needle. Okay, and uh, oh boy, there we go. Okay, this screw here is very, very hard to get done right with the. Uh, Oh boy. Okay. Let's just get the right, get everything set up before we start and that way you don't, you know, make any major mistakes, you know. He's like that too. Okay. So here we go. We have a spring that sits right here. Make sure you optimize your comfort as much as possible when you do this because it is uh, most important, paramount, that you are not, in, your body is like in the most comfortable position because this, this does require quite a bit of just overall. Comfort. And the best way to do this actually is with a, um, in a uh, in a bucket, because when that spring goes flying, at least you can control how far it can go. You know. So you see what I'm trying to do. Uh, sometimes this goes really easily. Sometimes it doesn't. I'm not that super skilled yet that uh, it happens easily all the time. It's a fun challenge. I like the challenge. <laughs> oh my gosh. Maybe this might work easily. Maybe. Let's see. Let's put that down first. Right? It's got to be a, like a workflow for this that makes the most sense. Okay. Got it. Okay. Do it like that. You saw what I just did. Take the screw. <coughs> oh, 
what's happening is that these parts are coming off of the, the magnetic tray and they're magnetized in ways that are um, a little annoying at times. So that's that, right? Uh, okay, we're gonna go back to some uh, gasket shenanigans. I'm gonna actually place the. Uh, there's a mesh here. This mesh is clean, so I'm not gonna replace that. But I will place the other, um, the needle and seat in this set here, and a little gasket because you never know. I might run into another carburetor in worse condition. This, these, these parts were actually pretty good. Uh, Alright, so I think I have everything mostly laid out. I should be able to do this all in one shot, all in one take. Um, Alright, let's do it. So what do we have here? We have a primer bulb, right? That goes on top of that, like that. This is the orientation that will sit on top of there. Right, this here has... okay this gasket goes down first, right? And you'll notice that it has uh, three holes. Can you see? That's better. Yeah. It's a black and gray kind of crime. Okay, so, um, and it's also uh, this over right you'll see that there's uh, some holes here those holes have to line up with this gasket yeah so that goes down like that okay all right okay cool Got it. Uh, diaphragm goes on top of it. So let's, here we go. We go. This goes down like this. Right? The diaphragm here, this part here, sits down inside of here, like that. This goes on top of it, like that. Okay? Now we need... Um, couple actin agents in, in uh, back. We have a star in four screws. All identical twins. Okay, they are going to go through. Okay. okay. I'll wash my hand as quickly as possible. Curvature there. I think that probably goes like this. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Yeah. It goes through. Goes through. Goes through. So now, this should just slide on top of this. Like that. Yeah, see that spring? I knew that spring was going to give me a bit of a hard time. But that's how that should go. Like this.
Oops. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, I wonder if I should go like this. See what I just did? Right. So this kind of like work, these screws work as like guide pins. And then I can go like this. Just line them up like that. So that should be the carb right there. I think that's um I think we did it, right? Let's just tighten this down. Wait, let's check double check or anything. Yeah, it looks good to me. Well they were crushing anything that's not supposed to be crushed. Ah, poking myself. put this back together. Uh, should be pretty straightforward. Uh, tried and true errors and failure and successes have told me that it would be best to put this throttle um, linkage in first. Like that. And this looks like that gasket there. Oops. Don't pull too hard because you don't want to break this thing. This also, I've learned the hard way that this is easy to break. Okay, so I think that should go like that, right? And then we'll uh, what are we looking for? Sort of air filter. Ah, never mind. Right. Right, that goes through there like that. Okay, I think I got it. I think we got it. You got it? I think we got it. Yeah, I think. There we go. So, that, like that. This is a choke. It's an interesting approach. Okay. Carburetor goes on the green line, yellow line. Okay. Sometimes I hope these things are easier than they are going to be, but. Shouldn't be too bad. Famous last words. Oops, come on. Get this down.
Yeah, no. Don't worry about that. Let's see what we have. Come on. Let's get it. Yeah, that's better. There we go. Okay. Let's get uh, this in. I don't know. Can you see from this side? I think my uh, my headlamp's blocking all your light. I mean, uh, messing with the light. Or, or not. I mean, I don't I hope it's not ruining an experience for you. Aha! <laughs> uh -huh. So you see what I'm trying to do here, right? Okay. Gonna get this here lined up. That's lined up now. And because it's lined up, go back in. Good. Okay. Remember, yellow. You can almost see it actually. Green line, yellow line. Okay. A tube and job is interesting. There you go. That fits exactly as it should. Perfect, okay. Green, yellow, they kind of have witness marks, basically, or witness shapes. Okay, check the F. Choke, choke closes all the way. Oh, look. Ah, okay, this thing is too weird to move with that stupid attachment. All right, um, air filter, I kind of uh, put this uh, back together. Like this, yeah. Can we go like that? Is a better way to do it? Hmm. So what did I I washed this off. It's still got a little bit of grease on it. I did wash it off. But not good enough. My mother would be upset at me. Or my dad. Or somebody. But I don't care, because I don't have a problem with mom or dad. I don't have one. Well, everybody does, but you know what I'm saying. They're not in my life, so all is good. I'm traumatized. Can't believe it. I'm still traumatized. So that's good. All right, I think it's exciting. We're almost done putting it back together. I'm just gonna clean this uh, oil out here. Right. We get a new oil. Um, here's the oil plug. It's um, seven five three zero five four zero eight. It's an MT, MTD, 7530548 oil plug. It's got a gasket with it. No. goes on like that. Right. Let's 
That's good. Well, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. We're done. I'm gonna put some fuel in it. Put some oil in it. Start it up. See what happens. Well, let's get some stuff uh, filled um, with the oil. Uh, we're gonna use this oil right here. Premium four cycle small engine oil, and we're gonna fill it all the way up to the very very end, the lip right here. That's what they recommend. So. And make sure it's on a leveled surface. Well, you know, level doesn't like whatever. The uh oh, love it when you're not prepared. Yeah, so this uses oil. I'm just going to kind of make sure I don't overfill it. I'll put that there just in case. Well, <laughs> uh huh. It doesn't really take too much. So the oil oozing out is oozing out. I probably should have done this less. So that's good. I'm gonna cut that off. Okay. With that being said. Let us uh, let's do some gas. Here. I'm going to opt to use. Uh, you don't. This uses regular um, gasoline. You don't have to mix anything. I would say, to be honest with you, you use the highest octane ethanol-free gasoline you can buy in your in your area if that's a possibility. Other than that, if you can't do ethanol free, use the highest octane possible. That's, um, you know. That's my suggestion. Um, I'm going to use a tr four cycle true fuel engine. You can buy this from Home Depot. I'll do like, uh, like half. I just need to test it, so yeah, that should be enough. <coughs> what do you think? Think it'll go well? Yeah, okay. Good choke in the third position. Does that make sense? Yep. Let's see, just try position on one. Yeah. The primer bulb. A couple times there. Several times, ten times. Oh, there we go, we got fuel in the primer bulb. switch here.
Definitely works well. Let's put it back in position number one. Looks like we might have a bigger issue. I'm not really sure what. Uh, doesn't turns on easily, but can't get out of the can't get into second the second position there. Uh, it doesn't have a lot of power, so yeah, there's something probably bigger going on. Okay.